Hi, today we are going to talk about frogs. This book, How to Hide a Meadow Frog. If you take a careful look, you'll see how creatures in this book are camouflaged and out of view, although they're right in front of you. The gray tree frog is quite a clown. It leaps about, then settles down. With suction cups upon its toes, it clings to things, then up it goes. Depending on the temperature, the dampness, or the light, it's sometimes gray or green or brown and sometimes pearly white. The meadow frog is well concealed deep, <laughs> deep in this moist and grassy field. Upon this arum lily will this arum frog alight, where it will stay and nestle down and turn from brown to white. It is quite beyond belief the horn frog looks just like a leaf. This is a cat eye tree frog from the jungles of Brazil. His legs are shaped to hide him when he is sitting still. All the splendor that's bestowed upon this well-designed cream toad can alter altogether as you see it fade away to become a pasty gray. Looking like the lichen where it likes to live, the salamander can be sure that it is really quite obscure. Because the world is hostile, all creatures need protection. They need to hide so thoroughly that they defy detection. So some of them need camouflage to fade away with ease from predators who like to dine upon these predators. But predators to live must eat, so also feed and are discreet. And then their prey on which they sup can't see what's going to eat them up. So we are going to talk about Watch Me Crow Frog. I am a frog. I like to croak. I have slippery skin. I live in water and on land. I have long legs and I can leap up very high. Before I was born, mom laid thousands of eggs in a pond and dad, then dad fertilized them. To do this, he had to stay very close to mom while she laid all her eggs. Now I am growing inside of my egg. And here we have some frog eggs. I already have my tail and gills. In a few days, I will be big enough to wiggle out. After nine days, a tadpole is almost ready to hatch out. I'm ready to hatch out. Once I am out of my egg, I swim up to the surface of the pond where it is warm. Here I am, <laughs> and there's plenty of food. After four weeks, my teeth begin to grow. At last, I can start eating insects. When a big, tasty worm trips down from the surface, I share it with my brothers and sisters. Now I am part tadpole and part frog. My arms and legs start to grow. My new legs help me swim. I am part tadpole and part frog. I have become a froglet. Now I am ready to leave the water. After three months, I breathe through my lungs and even my skin. Now I am ready to start living on land. I leap from the water. I leap from land to water. I need to keep my skin wet to stay healthy. So after eating on land, I leap back into the water for a swim. The cycle of life goes round and round. 
Now you know how I turned into a slippery frog. Croak, croak, see you next spring. And we can't read a book about frogs without having one. So, whoa, I have a little friend right here. Say hello, hello frog. <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>